Hello, my name is Rodney Hill, and today we're going to take a look at the EHMI on the IXB family of tools. Here I have my Tensor ITB tool that has the EHMI in the back of the tool near where the light ring is, and then our ICB tool, which is our more compact version of the tool. We don't have the space to put it on the back, so we actually have it in the handle of the tool is the EHMI for the ICB model tool. Now we're going to do some rundowns here on the bench and take a look at what that looks like on the EHMI. On the EHMI screen at the top, we have our status bar. On the left, we can see the signal strength indication for Wi-Fi. In the middle, we can see which direction our direction ring is in. And then on the right side here, we can see the battery strength for the tool. You can see here the last rundown I did was not okay because I have a red bar across the top that says in okay. I have the torque value and at the bottom, I can see that I'm running program one and the name of my program is Titan to eight Newton meters. So I'm gonna do a couple more rundowns here to show what this looks like. And now I see I get 8.09 Newton meters and it's okay. I'll do another rundown, I get 8.78 Newton meters and that's okay. And now I'm gonna intentionally let go of the trigger a little bit early and you can see I get an error message. So I get a not okay and it also tells me exactly why I got that not okay. So in this case, it was trigger lost, which means I let go of the trigger before I reached my desired torque. So now let's take a look around the menu on the tool. If I hold down the middle button here, you can see a blue line moves across the top and I can access the different menus on the tool. We'll start with the tightening menu here. In the tightening menu, we can choose through the different programs that we have on the tool. I'm gonna leave it in this program we have right now and go back to the menu by holding down the middle button again. I'll move down to the batch sequence and I'm gonna select now a batch sequence that will run to show what that looks like on the EHMI. I'll select sequence one here and we'll see the screen is set up a little bit different. Because this batch knows to expect three fasteners, I have three circles here. The first one is blue, letting me know that I'm on the first fastener. So I'm gonna go through this batch and we'll see what it looks like. So as I finish the first one, I get a green light. My next one turns blue. And as I continue through here, I finish the batch and it's going to automatically reselect because I don't have it set to stop at the end of the batch. Let's do that again. I'm gonna do something a little bit differently here. If I go through it, I'm gonna do two fasteners and then I'm gonna take a look. You can see the three dots at the bottom here. Let us know that we have something else to see from this menu. So I push the button and you can see I have a bunch of different options here. I can abort the sequence. I can bypass this batch. I can reset the batch, decrement, increment, all those options can be available for the operator that's using the tool. We're gonna to go back to the menu structure here again by holding down the middle button and we'll continue through here. We have a tool menu. Inside the tool menu, we can see the serial number of the tool, the software version the tool is running, the model number of the tool, and a lot of other information here available right on the tool. Again, I'll go back to our main menu by holding the middle button. We'll move down to information. The information, we can see the software information on the EHMI. As we roll through here, we can see all this different information about the EHMI. I'll hold down the middle button again, and we're gonna go back to the main menu again. And our last menu here, we can actually see our network information. So as I click on network, and I'll click information, I can see that I'm using a WLAN or Wi-Fi connection. It's connect configured through DHCP. It shows me the IP address that the tool has received. It also shows me the subnet mask, gateway. If I was using DNS servers, those would show up in here as well with domain name, host name, and channel list available for this tool. Right now we have our channel selection set to auto. So I'm gonna go back one more time to our main menu, go to network, and I'm gonna take a look at my signal strength history. And what I can see here is I can actually see the wireless signal strength as the tool sees it. So if we take a look at this graph here, we can see that I have a very good signal strength with my access point. In fact, it's so good right now that I don't even see any deviations on the graph, but I would see this update real time if I was in an area where maybe I didn't have as good of wireless coverage. Now you've seen what we can do with the EHMI on the Tensor ITB and the Tensor ICB tool. Because these tools can operate with an integrated controller, the EHMI becomes an integral part of this to provide feedback to the operator and allow you to do different functions right from the tool. If you need any more information on this, please contact your Atlas Copco representative, and thanks for watching.